You confessed that you did. Your jaw will hit the floor. Oh, my God. With Tonight at the Disney Concert Hall for the historic inauguration of the state Senate's new president pro tem, Kevin DeLeon. The L.A. senator is the first Latino to hold that post in more than 100 years. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Michelson was there. It's an evening rich in pomp and circumstance. <laughs> The Walt Disney Concert Hall is packed with dignitaries and a crowd of more than 2,000 to watch an inauguration. I, Barack Hussein Obama. It's not a presidential inauguration. I, Jerry Brown. Or the inauguration of a governor. I, Kevin DeLeon. But the inauguration of Kevin DeLeon as Senate President Pro Tem. He's the first Latino in that job since 1883. I'm here today because of my mother. DeLeon's mother served as a janitor as he grew up. My story should not be the exception. My story should be the rule. Past Senate leaders were always sworn in at the Capitol in low-key affairs. The Latino Legislative Caucus Foundation is picking up the $50,000 tab for this unprecedented party. DeLeon told me it's not costing taxpayers a dime. I want to sort of democratize it, make it more open. Still, there are some who say that all this is a little much, especially given what's happened in California politics recently. In the last year, three Senate Democrats faced serious ethical questions. The Howard Jarvis Taxpayer Association says, from the taxpayer's perspective, we'd like to see lawmakers spending less time on self-aggrandizement and more time on serving the public. But most attending this free event say it's worth it. This is an event that has been open uh, to workers, uh, to students, to the community. His intent is to be able to include everybody who would normally not have the opportunity to join him uh, in Sacramento. In downtown L.A., Alex Michelson, ABC7 Eyewitness News.